So welcome back everybody to a very windy day at the sawmill. As you can see behind me, we've got a little LT10 up on its platform. I did not video uh, leveling up the legs on it because uh, it's just kind of boring, tedious work that nobody wants to watch. But uh, we did get it leveled out. We got the stabilization cables back on it. And I did some edging on it yesterday. And man, it was so nice. I, was, I didn't have to bend over. Everything was just exactly at the right working height. And man, it, it was just, it was really, really nice. It's almost like having a brand new sawmill. But today we've got a pretty nice Eastern Red Cedar log that we're gonna put on it. And we're just gonna see how it works. There may be some issues that have to be worked out. Uh, I have identified a couple of things on the head that probably need to be worked on. Uh, but nothing that we can't sort out or modify something to work better. So let's go ahead and get a log on it and uh, we'll see what we can do. So I think what I want to do here, this end of the log is a good bit smaller than the other end. And if I try to make boards out of the entire thing, I'm going to end up wasting a lot of lumber. And besides that, there's a pretty nice looking crotch on this end. And I'd like to preserve that and try to slab it by itself. So I'm going to try to cut it right around in here uh, where that taper, uh, somewhere in the middle of the taper between those two, two ends of the log. And I think that way we can maximize our amount of lumber that we're going to get out of it.
this is way too pretty to make into boards. I'm just gonna flip it and slab it because I can't get over how pretty that is. y'all can see this man i tell you what I, I wasn't so sure what to expect from this log because the outside of it that that sapwood is just absolutely rotten 
and I figured I was hoping it was okay in the middle because I know cedar has got some good anti-rot properties but I'll tell you what I was <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised on this one look at that So guys, that's all I've got for today's video. The mill is just running like a dream. Uh, it is up off the ground. It is so much easier on my back. I can just shuffle the boards from the mill into the back of the truck. And it's like having a brand new sawmill. I am extremely happy with it. Uh, that cedar log, I guess y'all saw, but the outside of it was rotten. So I was not so sure about the inside, but man, it turned out really beautiful. We got some good slabs out of it. Um, I, gotta, I want to apologize for this wind noise. It has been raining for the last week straight here, and as soon as the rain stopped, the wind started blowing. So I hope that the audio is not too bad on this video. But that's all I've got. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Please consider hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.